Well, it's not often you can get a price on a Chad Brown runner, especially on turf. But you got nine to one on hard to justify in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies turf. Yeah, she had a difficult post and Flavian Pratt just did a wonderful job early to get her out of the gates mm -hmm. and up into the race and over, not losing too much ground. And yeah, I had to use up some energy to get there. And I was a little worried at the, about the eighth pole and they started to surround her that maybe using that horse early to get that good position would cost her. But didn't she just fight back and show really the true heart of a champion and being undefeated and really done nothing wrong. I'm so proud of her. Before the Breeders' Cup, she overcame a troubled trip to win her debut, then she wins the Miss Grillo. And I have to say, though, on a totally superficial note, one of the things that caught my eye when she was heading there to the wire was her tail just flagging out in the wind with the little great tips on the end, which is so reminiscent of City of Troy, who is another scion of Triple Crown champion Justified. These horses flat out run. It's interesting they have the same tail. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I mean, what a great sire he's, he's off. Um to being, you know, early on in his career. Obviously, he was a great racehorse, and I got to see him pretty well, actually, in the Derby, running second to him with Good Magic, but... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Champion two-year-old Good Magic. Yeah, they seem to run on anything that's justified, so just hoping to get a few more in my barn. When you're watching the Net Jets Juvenile Phillies and you see just FYI win, and she does it from the 12-hole there on the dirt, and then your filly from the 12-hole on the turf, also by Justify, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I mean, it goes to show you from two challenging posts, they can overcome. They have a lot of perseverance and, and a handful of them in my barn. They're big too, right? Yeah, big, strong, good training horses and uh, very sound. And it's just affording them now. Yes. <laughs> the, word, the word is out. The so, uh, But I'm happy with our hard to justify. She came out of the race good. And hopefully she goes on to continue her great career. A big, beautiful filly. She's out of Instant Reflex, who is by... Quality Road. Uh, that was a horse who could carry speed. It's a six length lead. It's an eight length lead. It's a 10 length lead. It's a 12 length lead. It's Quality Road. And then also, I love that the pedigree includes some versatility. You have Corazana in there, but you also have 36 Red, who actually was third in the Breeders' Cup Classic back in 1990. So fun wow. pedigree all the way around. Pretty deep pedigree. And uh, on both sides of our family, very versatile. You see a lot yeah. of turf and dirt horses, both by Justifying Quality Road, of course. So, uh, you know, hopefully, like I said, she goes on to continue her great career. And What is the plan going forward? You know, give her the winner off, well-deserved, and uh, she had those good three starts at two, and we'll probably see her back in action in April. All right, sounds good. Congratulations, Chad Brown and the whole team behind Hard to Justify, winner of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies Turf.